Alright everybody, I am back with more Decay the Mare. I am Flog, and I just figured out the damn puzzle. It, it didn't take me too long, but uh, I did have to do a lot of working around. I figured out that you have to, um, uh, uh, you have to basically make each, each one look like it's going to look up at the top. So like, if it's a five, you have to have one in each corner and then one in the center. So like, you would have to do two slanted one way and then a dot so just a just a one on the die it's a very complicated puzzle and uh, but i finally opened this door here and that's going to turn me around and i'm going to go through this door and i believe that oh okay i woke up and i'm back at or I'm back in the place where I was at. Is that right? Can I open this? There's nothing in there. Okay. So I I'm having a feeling that at some point there's going to be something in there. Oh, okay. So I'm kind of back here. I'm back in the Reaching Dreams. Oh, okay, that's Decay the Mare, a Shining Gay production, of course. All right, so then we are on to episode three. So this is the final episode of the game, I believe. Um, and so far, we've not run in... I mean, I've run into a couple of little problems. So what is a friend? And I, a friend. I know. Uh, but, like, I've run into a couple of problems with some of these puzzles. But aside from that, it's it's actually not that bad. Uh, so let's see, last time when I woke up, I woke up and I was actually back in it, what seems to be reality. But at the same time, could be something not reality-esque. Uh, so, I mean, I've also missed a lot of things. So, um, let's see. Is there anything in here that I can actually look at? All right, let's turn... Anything on the TV? Or is that just something random I could click on? Does, what? Okay. Sure, whatever. Oh, hello. Okay, that's going to be locked. It won't open. Okay, can I... Can I get into this one? Oh, hello. I'm Raphael. I'm Sam. Nice to meet you. You have any sleeping pills? Sorry, I don't. Man, the dreams I have, they are killing me. I haven't had a good night's sleep in ages. I slept better when I, when I tried a sleeping pill that hot Latina gave me. The goddamn medicine I'm taking is screwing up my brain. Your dreams? It's weird. My dreams are so real. I sometimes have a hard time f telling if I'm awake or not. And that boy, he's there all the goddamn time. What boy? Nene. That's his name. He is the reason why I'm here. What was your name again? Sam? Why are you here? Did your chick leave you? It's a long story. Economical problems, depression, drugs, and panic attacks. Same old song, huh? What do you think of this place? You know, I'm not really sure that this is the place to be cured. I haven't even seen a psychiatrist lady since yesterday. Isn't she supposed to be here? You know, to help us? I'm pretty sure there are better places in New Jersey where sickos like us can get treatment. Latina? That Latina. Tori. Man, she hit rock bottom. One day she was all drugged up, trembling and crying. The next morning, she was gone. Something fishy about that, man. A Latina? That reminds me. In my dream, I was in a room full of photographs of a girl with long black hair. I tell you, man, dreams inside these walls are scary. Every night I go to sleep, I know I'm going to end up in some weird place walking around trying to wake up. Feels like I would die if I didn't wake up fast enough. I've started dr dreaming those kinds of things, too, and someone is following me. Who? I don't know. A bloody, rotten, mannequin-like figure. 
Sounds scary, friend. Nene follows me all the time, walking by my side, letting me know he's there. Who is Nene? I'll tell you another time. One thing's for sure, though. I messed up bad. I need to go. It's getting late. It frightens me. But if I don't sleep, I die. See you around. Yeah, see ya. Alright, well. At least I know I'm not alone in here. I just don't know where the fuck I am. Yerzig Roth. Oh, that's the chick who killed her. What? Water closet? That would be... Tori was here, huh? Is there even a mirror there? Tori was here. Alright. Is there anything that I can actually look at? Or is this... Just... Nothing. It is a nothing. Alright. Let's leave the water closet. What's this? A good appetite needs no sauce. Ha ha ha. Real fun. And there's stickers. Alrighty. Um, is there anything else to really look at until I go down the way here? Alright. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll head on in here. See what we've got going on. Alright. That was weird. Examine. Yes. What the hell? I guess I put stuff in the holes, maybe? I guess I put stuff in the holes, right? That makes sense. Kinda. Oh, what's this? A pocket watch. Sure, I'll take it. All right, what we got? Examine. Examine the pocket watch. I got a. There's a big T on it. All right. Can I use it? Oh. All righty then. That sounds like fun. Apparently, I got a thing called time traveler. I'm really confused now. Can I go in there? Nope, it's locked can't look in there either apparently uh okay there's nothing really on the ground there's like blood all over the walls that's not very comforting what do i got here a knife handle and there's a coin on the ground there all right can i go in the door yes i can so from what i understand you can turn back time now won't open. Okay. Is this back where I came? No, this isn't back where I came. Okay, I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just kind of going for... Okay, I'm back here. Oh, wait. There was something in the... There was a ceiling hatch. Hold on. There's a hatch up here. Can I? Can I open that? can't reach it okay well then I need to find something that I can actually use to reach it well my guess is that that's kind of where I'm headed but at the same time I don't really knew um, I guess I need to go forward forward again through the through the door all right can I go further in and open this door this leads me to here What's in this? There's a coin in there. There, are all, there's always a reason for me to do stuff like that. All right, let's go back. Go further down. Wait, was there a door back here? There's a door right here. Can I open that? Yes, I can. And look at that Oh, what's that? It's like a drawing or something. It's kind of weird. Pig. Okay, can I open it? No, it's locked. Alright. Can I open this door? Okay. Can I use the... Let's use the... 
Alrighty. What's all this now? Like, half of his face is missing. Can I use the watch again? Nothing happens. Okay. I tried. Um, I wonder if each room, if I use the pocket watch, and it, it'll change stuff in each room. Let's try it. Nothing happens. Okay. Uh, it looks like it only really works a couple of times. Can I use it here? Nothing happens. Okay. Is there anything in my inventory? Other, I, I got a knife handle, and that's pretty much it. Okay. Well, so far, I've used the thing once. And what the hell? There's a shovel here. Of course I'll pick up the shovel. Why wouldn't I pick up the shovel? Wait. Okay. So I've got a shovel now. Can I go out this door? Okay, that leads... Okay. Well, this leads to some weird places. What's over here? What in the... Oh, no. Um... Oh, <laughs> no. All right. Well, this is going to be fun. Oh, well, that kind of rotated where I wanted it to be. I'm actually making the picture, but it's um it's kind of not the right way. It's not the right way round. What I'm aiming for is a little bit more shit. Yeah, this isn't going to be easy at all. Aha! I actually did something right there. Wait, go back. Because there's one ear where it moves these two. Aha! Oh, that was that was kind of luck. That was really kind of luck. Okay, there's the pig key. All right, so now I can go in that. It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. All right, so I was actually able to figure that out fairly quickly. Pick up that coin. Go out the door. Okay, now it looks like I can go into here again. And now I can actually open this thing. So let's go use the key. Use. Huzzah! I have a cane and a flashlight. Alrighty. I have a cane and a flashlight now. Don't know what the cane is going to be used for, but I do know what the flashlight is going to be used for. Um, let's go back through here. I can take a look and in here with the flashlight. Uh, flashlight use. Oh, there's a tape here. What does that say? Scariest movie ever. All right, well, let's take the VHS tape. There's nothing else in here, really. Looks like, at least. Uh, so let's go back. Let's go back out the door. So I have a VHS tape now, and oh, I can I can pull the oh now I know what to use with the can. Ah. sure, let's climb up. It has to be something. Oh look, it's the it's Nene. The fuck. Do I still have everything in my... Yeah, I still got everything in my inventory. Nothing in there. One of these days I'm going to open that and something's going to jump out at me. But I don't know what. And I'm a little scared. But... Okay. So is this guy still alive? I can't take this, man. I'm flipping. I'm going to die. He's laughing at me. Who? Who is laughing at you? Nay, nay. He wants me dead. 
already. Authorized personnel only. I can't open the door. What about this guy? It's locked. Okay. Well, room one is... Okay, that's locked. What? Now everything's locked. All right. Can I go in here? Nope, that's locked. All right, I can go in here, and but that's just the toilet. Well, you're not very helpful, are you? Okay, well, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, is there anything weird on the fridge now? Oh, good, it says funeral. That's perfect. Oh, boy. This is my room, isn't it? Alright. Uh, I can reach it with the cane. There you go. Oh. Okay, a ball just fell down. Ball pickup. I'm guessing I can drop the ball into one of these slots, but I don't know which one. Wow, okay, I have no idea. Am I collecting, like, balls now? Is that what I'm doing? Okay, I have a ball, but I don't know what it's gonna be used for. That's locked. Oh boy, oh boy, this is confusing as hell. How did it become nighttime already? Oh, okay. Sam, he's gone now. You mean Nene? Yes. Who is Nene? Me and Juan. Another guy from my game, Chicanos Locos, were on our way home from a party. When we met a member of the gang with whom we were at war, we saw it in, our, in his colors. He was called Nene, and he bore the gang's purple colors. We were drunk, and Juan, my friend, had brought a piece, an old German gun from the Second World War. Juan gave it to me and asked me to confront Nene. Since I was still new at this, I had to show him that I had what it took to be a Chicano Loco. I walked toward him and raised the gun. We forced him into an abandoned industrial building just outside of Newark and found an empty storage room where he had to sit down on a chair. I held the gun against his forehead. I felt power when Nene started crying. Then the gun went off. He fell backwards onto the floor, staring up at the ceiling. It was over in seconds. We left the gun, the murder weapon, and ran home. For a week I stayed in my apartment. I did not talk to anyone during this time. Several a times every hour, I looked through the street near the window to see if any co were, there were any cops outside. There never were. During this week, the gang received information about the old German gun at the crime scene, to which everyone knew belonged to Juan. Before the police could arrest Juan, he was found dead, probably killed by Nene's gang. Almost all of my dreams were about Nene. He was there, observing me, reminding me of what I had done. I thought it would get better here at Reaching Dreams, but it got worse. I'm glad it's over. I think he's happy now. Oh, what's that? I found a magnifier. Well, okay. Uh, he's, I, I guess he's dead now. That's not weird or nothing. Alright, well, I guess I'm climbing down because that's the only real way that I can actually go about doing it. Um, it won't open. Can I use the, this? Nope, okay, maybe not. Can I use the, uh, the clock thing? Maybe the clock will... 
nothing happens. All right, can I use the clock in this room at all? Nope. All righty. All right, well. I'm just kind of looking around, trying to see if there's anything around that I can actually do. Uh, man, I don't. I've got so much stuff in my inventory. Oh, oh, the man had been swallowed up in a world of darkness. The knife with the green handle was his salvation. His veins were open as the sun rose in the east. Okay, is that it? Okay, okay. Can I exit this now? Okay, well, I got the detective thing for that. Uh, I do have a knife, or a knife handle, but I don't have, like, a knife... Oh, okay, there's a coin right there. Didn't even see that. Oh! There is no need for you to do that, sir. Can I open this? Anything in there? Nope. Nothing. Nothing in there. God, I did not expect that to explode. That made me jump out my goddamn... Mm, that scared me. I don't know why that scared me. I just did. Okay. All right. So maybe if I go out this way, is there anything in here that I'm looking for? Maybe it's the light. Uh, is there anything on the ground in here? Nope. All right. Well, I tried. Anything in here? Nope. All right, so I have two balls now. I wonder if I have to collect a ball for each one of the holes. I don't really know. I don't really know. But we're going to go ahead and call it there because I'm getting a little bit too far into it right now for this episode. But I hope you guys are enjoying it. This is Decay the Mayor. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Remember to hit that like button, of course, and comment as well. And also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in another video. Goodbye, everybody. What's that? You like that? You want more? Click in the upper left to subscribe and check out Killing Floor. Okay. <laughs> also check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel and then check out Rogue Shooter. There we go. Kick him. Kick him to death. I just kicked a robot to death, everybody.